Hey everybody, it's Chris Ponte, you know, ex-employer of Bob's Red Mill, Natural Foods out of Milwaukee, Oregon. Um, I'm wondering, I just thought of something. I'm wondering if I worked there for about two years mixing the steel cut oats. They, you know, I'm sure everybody already knows the uh, class action suit that settled where somebody sued Bob's Red Mill because they were lying about dangerous weed killer glyphosate being in their in their products, right? So my point is, and what I thought about, I had an idea. Well, not an idea, but I thought about it. How many milling employers at Bob's Red Mill? See, look, you, you raise the totes of uh, steel cut oats, right? You raise the tote with forklift forks. It's about a 2,200-pound tote. Then you take another forklift with an empty tote, put it underneath it. This is how they mix this stuff before they package it, right? So still cut oats come in, they get all compacted, so they want to mix it, right? So they put the forks up with a tote hanging on it, full of 2,200 pounds of uh, steel cut oats, and underneath is an empty one. So that you get up there on a little ladder, in, a little step ladder, and you pop the bottom of the tote open, right? Poof! Bunch of oats come fall crashing down, right? Tons of dust come flying up into your face, right? My point here is I wonder how long, how long these people knew about this weed killer, Roundup weed killer, in their steel cut oats and weren't putting it on their packages or letting anyone know. I wonder how long employers that were there longer than me have been mixing this. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I had to cut that off because I couldn't figure out how to say carcinogens. Yeah, dude, carcinogens. Oh, my God. So, I'm just wondering how much exposure milling team at Bob's Red Mill. Excellent milling team. Excellent employees they got at uh, Bob's Red Mill. How long they've been exposed, and possibly exposed, I should say, to this dust. Can this dust from those that Roundup weed killer and the steel-cut oats that people were processing... Can it damage you? Can it damage your health? I'm wondering that. At the end of this video, there's uh, some screenshots of the lawsuit. This isn't being made up. I'm not making this stuff up where, I forget the woman's name, and it was a class action suit where they sued Bob's Red Mill. They were asking for like 300 million or something like that, but Bob's Red Mill ended up settling. I don't know how much money they settled for or what, but, I'll, I'll, um, on top of that, I'll add a, a link to the in the description of this video, just so people can see. If you're looking to buy um, healthy oats, just you know, I'm not saying not to, but just think twice about Bob's Red Mill food. They've been lying. They were lying for years.